Seems the far right group, the Proud Boys, hasn't been as visible since January 6th. And with the recent sentencing of the group's former chairman, Enrique Terrio, it's hard to know the state of the group on a national level. Some experts say the group is seeing a troubling trend of some trying to push members to join more extreme causes. Here in the Pacific Northwest, a former Proud Boy has reportedly started a group of his own. And that's the topic of this week's Willamette Week cover story. And joining us to talk about it is Willamette Week news editor Aaron Mesh. As as always, Aaron, thank you for coming on the program. It's my pleasure. How are you doing, Steve? I'm doing all right. The question to you is what's been happening to the Proud Boys in recent years? Well, it hasn't been the best time for the Proud Boys over the last two years. Obviously, when you have um, your leaders being convicted of seditious conspiracy, it's, it's not what you were hoping for as an organization, perhaps. Um, Portlanders will, of course, remember the Proud Boys uh, from various incursions into the city where there were marches and clashes with anti-fascist demonstrators. Uh, and since January 6, there has been uh, a splintering within the, within the movement. There's a lot of soul searching that I think is happening within the Proud Boys. I don't think that there's necessarily a belief that they were wrong so much as wondering why didn't it work. Who's the former member at the center of your article, Aaron, and how did he get expelled from the Proud Boys? Well, I should take pains to note for a second that this is a story done by Investigate West, which is an independent newsroom that we're running in our paper this week. Uh, their reporting found that Casey Knutson, who uh, lives in a town outside of Portland, on the, in the suburbs, out in the fringes of Portland, uh, that he... Uh, was expelled from the Proud Boys for uh, open racism uh, and for saying the Proud Boys should be whites only uh, and that from there, or at least strongly implying that he felt they should be uh, more racially oriented. From there, he went to a group called Patriot Front uh, and from there, he has founded his own organization called the Rose City Nationalists uh, who, according to Investigate West, are uh, an explicitly neo-Nazi group. Anything else the reporting uncovered that you can tell us about uh, after he left the Proud Boys? You know, we, we were talking in our newsroom about this this afternoon, and, and the most interesting question that I think this story raises is uh, just how dangerous are some of these fringe elements uh, that, that are located on the, on the edges of American political life? Uh, because... Quite frankly, the, the actions that Knudsen and, uh, and others have engaged in seem uh, fairly incompetent. Uh, the only thing he's been arrested for was, uh, was vandalism for spray painting and being caught with literally blue handed because he was using blue spray paint. So it's not an impressive record of, uh, of destruction and yet the rhetoric is extremely and virulently racist. And, uh, and that can be quite dangerous. Before you go, Aaron, I have to point out, Deb Knapp mentioned you shaved your beard. What's going on here? I just, I felt like it was a time to, to feel the cool Pacific Northwest air on my face. That looks good. Does that help, Deb? That looks great. She says it looks great. I, I agree. Aaron, great to see you, as always. And you can read the entire article in the latest edition of Willamette Week on newsstands now or online at wweek.com.